All right. Making this video to uh, basically say, and uh, once you hear what I have to say, it's, uh, I guess you'll see what that I'm not really glad about the hurricane, but it is a, I'm just kind of figure speech there. So I'm basically saying thank you, Hurricane Harvey. Even though, sadly, 30 people died. Uh, it looks like it's 31 now, maybe, or something like that. Um, um, one thing, the only, and I and I like to look at things as, you know, as having, you know, the silver linings. What are the silver linings? The silver linings in this is this, is that the truth is actually being shown on TV live for everybody. All this freaking racial crap that white, that you got the alt-right in the far left, that the all that that they want to push all this stuff that the media wants to push what's showing right now is the freaking truth the truth is showing right now and the truth is is that by far most black people and white people get along in other races also but let's be honest when we're talking to race stuff it seems like people really want to focus in on just black and white and when it all comes down to it Everyone just wants to get along. And it also shows something that that I've always said. People need to start realizing that, especially a lot of black folks, we need to start realizing that the average white person doesn't give a damn enough about you to hold you back. <laughs> Nobody, you know, no one, no one cares that much to try to hold you back. Specifically, let me wake up in the morning. Oh, I'm just... Time to keep down some black folks. No one cares that much. You're not goddamn important enough for that. B believe it or not, I don't want I don't want you to, to 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 think for one second that that you are, but you're not. What this hurricane is showing and the, the flooding is showing that everyone generally gets along. And I know I made a video before and I was asking where the pro blacks, the pro blacks that, that, that talk about the whole segregationist stuff and that, that talk about the segregation or the pro whites that talk about the segregation. That's what you want. I sure hope that both of you side, both sides, I sure hope y'all refused help from anybody that wasn't on in your team that wasn't on your team. I sure hope so. Because let's be honest. The narrative has been, to me, has been broken. Everyone's out there helping. Boats, everything. Everyone's helping. To come together and say, hey, this is bull crap. And uh, I think it was a, uh, I, I know I'm going to butcher this quote by Martin Luther King. said, you know the measure of a man in times of adversity. Times of adversity, guess what's showing? This is the true state of America. American is showing America is showing the American people are showing <laughs> who they are in times of adversity. I see no system of white supremacy down there. I don't see anybody specifically not being helped because they're black. That's my thoughts on it. Um it's just a it's a sad situation, but I I I, I remember I uh, I I said <laughs> that I thought that it that it's like we would we we need something we need something to to make us forget what's being fed to us by the mainstream media. It's almost like we need an alien we need some aliens to uh, to <laughs> to attack us so that suddenly the Muslim extremist the Alt right, alt the alt left, and and all that. We'll all stay. You know what? We need to fight this crap. This this hurricane, it's our aliens. And look at what everybody's doing. Everybody's stepping up. But I'm gonna say this. I want you alt right, and I want you black supremacists, white supremacists. I want y'all to refuse help, and only rely on your people, the people that agree that 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 want. That are that buy into your ideology to help you. That's what I want. 